Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba' The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encouraged us not to harm one another nor to reciprocate harm and there are so many ways in which we harm one another unfortunately even as brothers and sisters in Islam even as brothers and sisters on the same methodology even as brothers and sisters on the same madhab even as brothers and sisters from Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah we harm one another we forsake the honor and disgrace one another we trample upon the honor of one another and we harm one another with our tongues and at times even physically may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our many many sins and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said la darar wa la dirar sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said do not harm nor reciprocate harm Meaning that a person, and first and foremost, this is the characteristic of the Muslim, that the Muslim does not harm others, regardless of whether it be with the tongue, or whether it be physically, mentally, or spiritually. The Muslim is the first and foremost person not to harm others. And this contradicts the minhaj and the methodology of those people like the Khawarij and the Takfiriyin, those people who not only attack the honor of the scholars and curse and make takfir, can uh, call the leaders and accuse them of apostasy, but they also take it to the physical level where they perpetrate acts of terror and perpetrate acts of disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say that they're coming closer to Allah. Tabaraka wa ta'ala. What an evil, evil method, madhab they are upon. Wa'iyadhan billah min dhalika. A madhab of harm going in direct contradiction to what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. La darar wa la dirar. Do not harm nor reciprocate harm. Then there's another group of individuals who can't wait to find out the latest news about a particular individual. They can't wait to find out what this person has put on the internet, what this person has put on Twitter, what this person has put uh, on their Facebook or what have you, so that way they can, they can use it against them, against their brothers and sisters. Now we don't say that it is a part of harm to refute Ahl Bidah, the people of innovation and Hawa and desires or refuting a mistake or a sin or sinfulness that's not what we're saying but what we're saying is we're talking about those people who rush to make a ruling on someone else especially their own brothers and sisters who take from the same scholars as they do who face the same Qibla as they do who are upon the same minhaj and methodology as they are upon, which is the minhaj of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the madhab of Ahl sunnati wal jama'ah. This is the minhaj of the salaf of this ummah, the minhaj of the salaf of salih, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, beginning with the sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. So why is it that we're always concerned with attacking the honor of one another? It would seem that we would have enough problems in our communities, especially in the West, especially in America, with just trying to find an Islamic school, a proper school to teach our children, or a proper place to pray, or a place that perhaps we might even own. But this isn't the case. Instead, we have individuals who busy themselves day and night searching for the mistakes of others. Busying themselves day and night with harming one, uh, one another 
and trampling on the honors of their brothers and sisters in Islam. Is this from the madhab of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Is this from the minhaj of the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'an ajma'in? Which madhab is this? Or is this closer to people, the people of innovation and desires? Like the Khawarij who busy themselves with the mistakes of others, cursing them and making takfir of them. Like the Ru'afida who curse and accuse the Sahaba of the most abhorrent crimes. That's their madhab. Their madhab is a madhab of jasus. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, La tajassisu. He said, Salawatu Rabbi wa salamu alayhi, do not spy. And be brothers worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what it's about. We all want Jannah. All of us want Jannah. And may Allah all grant us all Jannah to Pardos and guidance so that we may get to Jannah to Pardos. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to quit attacking one another's honor and busy ourselves with those things which are more important, like dealing with. Uh, the issue of same-sex marriage, which is now infiltrating the Muslim community, the uh, the Muslim community, with lesbians leading the prayer, with people who don't know what they are, calling the adhan. All of this evil are things that we face in the West. But do you hear the people speaking about and against these things, or instead do they look at those matters as light? but rather the mistakes of their brothers from Ahl Sunnah to be great or to be greater than that. The fact that their children are learning about two men marrying or two women, the two, the two mothers, my two mommies and these kind of things that are being propagated in the West and that are only going to increase. We don't want to see the destruction of our communities, but rather we want to see the growth of our communities based on following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept this good and forgive our evil and anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam